Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel is Finding Value. Today we're gonna to do our daily technical analysis update of commodities. We're gonna work our way through the dollar yields, precious metals and commodities and ETFs that I follow. I'm gonna give you my financial opinions. If you need any help with anything, check out finding-value.com. Uh, that is where I talk about individual companies and the background of all this different stuff. So let's dive in. Let's see what's going on today and see what the markets are telling us. Uh, so we've got the dollar here, DXY, and we've got a little bit of selling pressure here. Uh, we've been looking for some selling pressures. This has been a pretty smooth upward move. And now we're getting a little bit of pressure here, a little bit of selling pressure today, down half a percent. Um, is this thing ready to turn at some point? Uh, this is what it looks like from a longer term perspective. Kind of we've come back and we're just sitting on this support level uh, bouncing around. So a little bit more selling pressure today. We'll see if that continues tomorrow. Uh, the two-year yield, it's hanging in there. It's not too bad. Basically a flat day today. We've got, you could say we've got selling pressure here that came down to support. It bounced off support. And again, we'll see what the next week or two does here. Um, but overall, still looks good to go higher. The 10-year, still drifting up a little bit, 0.66% in an uptrend move, still looks good. And then the 30-year still looks good too, up about a percent, still heading higher. <clears throat> so looking at the ratio of the long end of the curve to the short end of the curve, uh, we're basically just moving flat, 0.33%. So Little weaker dollar, flat with the yield curve. Yield Yields are a little bit higher on the longer end. Uh, precious metals, probably going to be flat, is my guess. Not much movement in either direction. Bond prices, uh, the 20-year bond price, a little lower today, and we're still on support. So down 0.72% on support. There's our support level back from all this previous trading back here. So gold. Uh, basically sideways today. We've had a couple of sideways trading action days in a row, the past three trading sessions. Silver up a little bit, but again, we're squeezing between this bottom trend line and this top trend line that extends way back there. We're still squeezing up on silver and platinum, uh, slightly higher today. Uh, again, we have a lot of momentum here. We're probably going to have to trampoline jump a few times before turning this momentum around. But it still looks good on a longer term perspective. There's your consolidation. We've broken the consolidation and now we're just waiting for a move to the upside, the right market conditions. XEU to gold ratio, the gold and silver mining companies outperforming gold and holding up against that support level line. We have a long way to go here. As we're trying to, we're right on this support and we're right up against this resistance line. Are we going to break through or are we going to break down? I don't know. We'll find out here shortly. Given where we are in the cycle, we could do a false breakout and then rip to the upside afterwards. That's still in the cards. This is the uh, commodity index still looking ripe for a move on up. Looks fantastic. The commodities versus stock ratio still holding in there for a potential move higher where commodities could outperform the S&P 500. Looking at some of these ETFs, GDX still, it's holding in there today, 1.52%. GDXJ is holding in there. We're right above this trend line on a longer term view here. And then SILJ still in this falling channel that we have not broken out of yet. Crude oil, uh, we are squeezing up in crude oil. I'm going to zoom way in on it. There is what we're squeezing up on. You can see we're hitting the resistance, hitting resistance, come back. Hits resistance, hits resistance. It's basically pummeling the upside of this resistance line. Uh, this is just a matter of time before it breaks out. Give it a day or two. I think this is going to break to the upside. Uh, but again, we haven't broken out yet. That's just me guessing. 
and we'll see if we break it over the next day or two. Nat gas slightly higher up today, about half a percent higher, and we're just cruising sideways. Uh, we could have one last little spill out of this thing to the downside here before heading higher. Uh, the reason I say that is, is this is basically a flag pattern that's inverted. So that's generally something that you see spill out to the downside uh, when, you, when you look at these things. Uh, XOP, yeah, you know me, getting a little bit more selling pressure today. It does look like we want to go lower, uh, but crude oil looks like it wants to go higher. So we sold off. We're back against this support level of the neckline of this inverted head and shoulders. Still holding in there. Are we going to get one last loop? I don't know. We'll find out here. It doesn't really matter to me where this thing goes. I do think we're going higher, but we do have a bearish engulfing today where that generally likes to head lower. We're up against support, and we'll see if that support holds tomorrow. OIH just moving sideways. This is a little bit more data, a little bit more um, information saying that we're just holding on here. We're just kind of moving back and forth in this channel so to speak on the short short term still looks good to go higher if the buyers want to push it conversely though uh, the sellers could come in here and whop it and we could go lower so it depends which way the markets want to push this it's it's in a it's in a holding formation profits of uranium trust tried moving up got a little bit of selling pressure throughout the day uh, this is what it looks like. We we started the day strong, but ended the day weak. Uh, the momentum on the Sprout Physical Uranium Trust is heading towards the downside. Uh, so that's <clears throat> what we've got in the short term is a little bit of downward momentum. URA, it didn't mind Sprout, you know, the, the Sprout Fund going down a little bit. So it looks good. It headed higher. It looks, looks okay. Uh, URNM also heading on up, and URNJ uh, resuming the trend of the upward move. Uh, pretty strong today. Today, pretty strong day today in URNJ. Tan just holding in there, moving sideways. Not much really to say here. We are close to a support level. COPX just, I mean, we're up today, but we're still within this channel, moving sideways. Lithium. Uh, again, up today, but we're still in the falling wedge. And this is probably getting pretty close to ending this wedge where we're probably going to break to the upside. Falling wedges generally break to the upside uh, and resolve themselves upward. It is a consolidation period. REMX doing the same thing, kind of a falling wedge type formation. Uh, but we did have an up day today. So a lot of things were up today with that falling dollar and that. Um, the yield curve kind of uninverting a little bit. SPX, uh, a little bit higher uh, today. Not, I mean, we've broken this downtrend. We're heading in an uptrend move. It's not a real strong movement with the candlestick. So we'll, we'll see what happens there. Uh, NASDAQ doing the same thing. We'll see what happens. Merging markets right up against support. and. Again, I think we're going to break higher when the dollar really starts to fall. Dollar and yields. Uh, home builders hanging in there, 1.12%. Are we going to dip out of this thing? That, that's my guess. Um, and that's what I'm kind of looking for. Uh, Moo, it's hanging on. It's right above support. There we are, uh, right on support of the trend line. Copper up 2.32%. We're still. Uh, in this squeezing type pattern, we're looking for a break to the upside. If e the economy is strong, if all the recession bros are right, then this will break to the downside, saying it's weak. Um, so again, we'll see what happens over the next uh, few weeks. Iron ore remaining quite resilient. Looks like that looks like that wants to go higher. Uh, that looks fantastic. Nickel uh, a little bit lower today. Again, I'm not convinced that this is going to go up. Uh, we've got a lot of selling pressure still in these guys uh, at the ending mark. So this could easily go lower if the sellers want to push it lower. Aluminum up 1%. Uh, looks good to continue higher. We've got smaller selling pressure right up against support. So 
Uh, my guess is we're going to go head on higher. Baltic Dry Index heading on up. Looks good to go higher after this breakout of the falling wedge. Newcastle Coal, uh, we're basing out here. I don't know if this has been updating, but broken base, retest. I like it. We're on the retest. Looks good. Bitcoin is selling off. We're still above support. We'll see if that support level holds below us. And Ethereum also getting a little bit more uh, selling pressure today. And we'll see where this thing goes. It is quite strong. It finished strong to the downside. Uh, it doesn't look that great of, uh, of a move for a nice big upward move. It, it looks weaker than it does stronger. So that's what we've got for today, guys. Um, just kind of waiting. Copper looks strong today. Uh, energy still looking good. We're, we're squeezing up in, in oil uh, and uranium still looks good. So everything still looks good. Let's just hold on. Hold on to the shares and ride this guy higher. Uh, if you like the content, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, subscribe to the website. We still have that 50% discount coupon code going on. Uh, coupon code September if you want to use it. Uh, it does end, I think, in the middle of this month. It's going to end, uh, if I can remember what I put for the date. So hurry up and jump in uh, on that September coupon code. All right, guys. Uh, we'll catch you next time. This is Finding Value.